last year? Seven and three. Seven and three. Um, how many guys do you have coming back on offense? Two. Defense? Two. Obviously a lot of rebuilding. Absolutely. And uh, it's a war work in progress. We uh, we scrimmaged last Friday and didn't quite do as well as I had hoped. Um, but we've had a, a better week this week, and I hope we can get some things solidified. we got some new guys playing different positions. So, you know, we'll see. We have a scrimmage again Friday against Perrysburg, so we'll go from there. With so much rebuilding to have to do, plus some people may say a 7-3 and three season was good, but at the same time, a lot of expectations last year. So is there a lot of hunger to kind of get back to maybe where you had hoped to be last year this year? Absolutely. Uh, you know, 7-3 and three at St. John's is, is just okay, you know. Uh, that's, that's fine. That's the way it should be. And, uh, you know, so we've got uh, – a team that's rebuilding that I think is hungry. We do have some, you know, some really good individual players. Uh, we need to solidify some stuff with our secondary and our and our offensive defensive line right now, and uh, create some more depth. I think this is the big key for us. So, with the track the way it is, you're going to get banged up every week. So you got to develop depth. That's for sure. We know you got to replace a lot of guys working on that depth. Uh, what's something else about this uh, team that people may not necessarily know about in 2012? Well. Uh, you know, we've got, uh, of, the, of the two guys back on each side of the ball, our three Division One players of now, uh, Brogan, Roback, and uh, Matt Miller on offense, and then uh, Tony Harper and Evan Yoder on defense, who's a linebacker who plays a sophomore last year. So uh, we got a lot of youth fighting out for spots. Uh, the competition's been great, and I will say that. Uh, we've had some really good days out here. We've had some other days that weren't as good. Uh, today so far has been pretty good, so I'm happy with that. Uh, I mean, our kicking game, we graduated one of the best kickers in school history and Brandon Smith, who's at the University of Toledo now. So we've got two guys fighting it out for that job. And, you know, I think competition is really strong and really healthy. And the last couple of years, we've been so senior dominant, we really haven't had a lot of competition. You know, we, we graduated, uh, you know, 26 seniors last year and 28 the year before. So, you know, we're due for to have a, a cycle like this. And uh, hopefully the kids keep working hard. And uh, in St. John's tradition, you know, they, they know what it takes to uh, achieve. And, we're hoping for. You mentioned Miller, Roback, obviously two guys that are going to uh, Division One universities. Obviously, they've been to a lot of college camps and that sort of thing. That's all well documented. Does that help at all when they're going against guys that are equal or better to them to that when they come back here, they can kind of lead and say, hey, you know, we need to work this much harder? Oh, absolutely. You know, and, and that's the first thing that I... Uh... I said to the to Brogan and Matt and Tony, you know, they, they, they did the whole college tour all summer long, and I told them, I said, you know, there's no reason why you guys come back here, you can't lead this team. Obviously, they took quality reps at every camp they went to, and uh, you know, a lot of our kids, you know, obviously didn't. So uh, we expect them to lead by example, you know, on the field, off the field, everything else, and uh, just be leaders for this year's team. We talked about the track earlier. Now that we're into year two, you know, I was just down at Finley. It seems like there's a lot of excitement on their end, and plus, you know, it seems like you guys are pretty happy as well. Well, uh, obviously, Finley's was picked to win the league, and uh, Mark does a great job down there. They've got a lot of great returning players. Uh, Central Catholic, you know, Greg does a great job. He's got some great players as well, and Jerry's going to keep Whitmer going. He does a super job, and, you know, we were picked in the fourth slot by one point over Fremont Ross, and Derek's got some really good kids coming back as well, and I think you're going to see improvement from the rest of the league in St. Francis and at Clay and at Lima Senior. I think everybody, it's going to be, you better strap it up, uh, you know, week in and week out or you're in for a long night. You know, back when you were at start, you got to play home football games. Now you actually get to play home home games here. How much easier is that for you logistically to not have to uh, bus over it, you know, somewhere else? It's unbelievable, and I, I think the kids will be happy. We won't have to come to Mass at uh, 7.30 Friday morning. You know, they get to have Mass after school now because we don't have to hop on a bus after a team meal and, uh, you know, head out to Clay or head out somewhere like that. So uh, it's exciting, and it's exciting for the whole school and for our, the whole St. John's community. And being an alum, I, you know, we've always waited for this day, and uh, it's finally here. So uh, I think you're going to see a lot of excited people here on, on August 31st. Is there anything else about this team this year in 2012? that you know we should be aware of that we may not necessarily have touched on? Uh, I don't think so at this point. You know, hopefully they can uh, make a name for themselves. Good deal. Thanks, Coach.